what's up welcome back to my channel my name is renee i thought i'd kick off this year with a new year plan with me i wrote down everything that we're gonna do in this video we're gonna start with is just new year stuff so like just everything that i need to do starting the new year like our monthly birthday calendar look over my budget my google calendar theme i'm gonna change up and then do like my typical new year spreadsheets for work and then we're gonna go over some goals that i have for myself my like 2023 motto any resolutions i have and then quarter goals and then at the end we will do a little reflection which I love doing kind of just reflecting on the past year and seeing where we can improve taking in all the lessons that we've learned this year and boy have I had a lot <laughs> this year I'm really excited for the new year so I'm very excited to start this video I'm gonna first start with my new calendar which I picked up from Target I will link it down if I can find it down below but it's like this little monthly calendar we have one right now in our hallway where we put all of our family birthdays i think this one's really pretty because it has this beautiful like plant kind of thing going on it's a little bit more artistic than the one we have right now so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then i also picked up from target my new desktop planner so i'm not a huge fan of a day-to-day -day planner like i said i've been using my google calendar but for just everyday tasks and like things that i want to you know focus on for the day i do like to write things down it just helps me this one's really cute and it like has a little spiral here at the top <laughs> literally the theme of this year expect the unexpected but it's not a planner that has dates already in it which i really like so some days i might use it some days i won't and it has just this little daily spread here that i'm going to fill out every single day so we have like the big picture any projects that i want to work on these are like going to be my mits if you guys know you know note section and then kind of like a layout of the week which is going to be perfect for just things that i need to focus on per day and not getting too specific because when it gets too specific i get a little overwhelmed and it just doesn't go as planned and then it just like messes with my brain and then any home life stuff and then one thing for yourself which i think we'll do like a little gratitude or something but yeah this is the little daily slash weekly kind of like overlook of the week and i think that's really gonna do well for me this year i'm gonna start with that another little planner that i got is for xander and i so this is a budget planner now that we are a family i think it's important to you know have financial goals for each other what we're spending when we're spending and it's just a really cool planner so i got this one on amazon which i'll also link down below financial goals there's like a mind map which i don't think i'm really gonna do too much of there's like your strategy and your tactics little like activities to do then they have like a little monthly spread and monthly budget section and then i think they have something for your like extended tracker app right here i think i'm gonna go and overlook my budget for the new year solidify that we're just gonna do the planner stuff right now okay We have finished budgeting. I ended up adding two sections to the financial planner, my video budget, and then also a budget for my income, which is broken down into AdSense, which is how I get paid through YouTube. It's like Google affiliate links. Those are any links that I get commission off of in the description box. And then sponsors, of course. I'm gonna go ahead and fill that out and sit down with Xander and figure all of that out, add his stuff. I kind of budgeted what I think would be appropriate for certain categories. That's just something for Xander and I. I feel like it's gonna be such a good way to save money because that's one of my resolutions this year is to like save a lot of money and just see where my money's going. I think it's really important to track when you physically write down what you're spending, like you really start to realize like, oh my God, I'm spending a lot of money. And then you can sit down and kind of review every single month to see where you're spending too much money. I would love to eventually get a second income. So like, it's just gonna be a really good mind opening experience, I think, to track my budget like this this year. We've got the 
birthday calendar up. Now what I'm gonna do is figure out my Google Calendar. So I have recently been doing a Google Calendar theme. You can change the background, you can change different colors. The colors that they use are pretty boring and basic. It's cool to be able to change and see the colors and like kind of theme your Google Calendar. I've been playing around with it a little bit. I like time blocking, but I think over time blocking is an issue. So like when you're like constantly putting everything in, like I try to put in my morning routine, it didn't really work. I think that's gonna be stuck with like this planner, kind of like tracking my habits and stuff, more like on a visual day-to-day -day kind of basis. And then my Google Calendar is gonna be for more like appointments that I have, birthdays I have on here, content that I'm filming, kind of just to see where I can place certain things in my day when it comes to work or, you know, places to be or travel visits, that kind of stuff. Anything else is gonna just be tracked on here because I think like I said, overly blocking time can be a little stressful. Habits and day-to-day -day activities in here, things that are going on and organizing my day are going in there. So here is what my Google Calendar currently looks like. The background I chose is a very neutral color and then the hexes, which is the colors that you can theme your calendars around are a certain theme, lots of like orangey pinkish greenish tones to kind of match the background so i'll tell you guys how to do this so first of all you need to add specific calendars within your google calendar so i have like my calendar i have sander's calendar so i know what's going on with him so we can kind of like morph our calendars together i have birthdays i have my baby i have my content any sort of fitness places to be any reminders or tasks, travel and visits, wellness, and then work-related stuff, all different colors. Now that you add your specific calendars, what you're gonna do is on the right side, there's like these three little dots that you're gonna click on and you click on the little add custom color. And then at the very bottom, it'll say hex number. So there is a website that I used that has all different hex codes for different themes so you don't have to play around with it or find ones that match whatever this girl on her blog already did that for you. So you can just play around with different hexes and change the colors per calendar. To change the actual background, you have to have Chrome. I use Safari so sometimes I don't even see the background but if I wanna be fancy and use like see the background for the day, I'll just go on Chrome. And you have to download the extension from the Chrome website called Custom Calendar Background and then once you download that, there's this new icon on the top right of your calendar. It's called background, and then you can change the image based on what you find on Google Images. So let's say you find a background of, let's say, marble. Right click it and say, copy image address. And then you're gonna paste that link into the Google Calendar background link. And you can change the URL for every single month. You can change it to have the background the same throughout the entire year. It's just a really cool way to like theme your Google Calendar. I really, really love it. I think it's really pretty. And it makes me want to like utilize it. That's how I do my Google Calendar. I got a new video planner, played with hexes again. This template I've talked about in so many previous videos. I will pop the instructions on how to create this on your own. Google Drive um, down below, pretty simple instructions to follow. But I did change the hexes this year, so played with the colors and the theme again. But this is how I'm gonna be planning my videos. I went ahead and put in all of the seasons, summer, fall, because my videos are themed around the season. Any videos, I think I'm gonna be doing Sunday and Wednesdays actually, now that I think about that, that goes over here. Any sponsors will be on the top here in this font. This video, for example, will be here. After the month of January, there'll be a video here, 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 and here. And then I also did my sponsored template. So this is a template, again, I've been using for so many years. I've literally been using for one, two, three, four, five years. Again, played with the hexes. We did a little like neutral tone theme, which I like. For example, all of my sponsors that are for that month are put over here. So for example, like athletic greens, I have in the works, which means if it's this color, it just means that we're talking about it, but there's no contract signed yet. Pre-shipment means it's on the way. If it's this color that means I've received it if I change it to this color that means I've sent the video for approval this is like the final um, process I'm just waiting for the money and once that's done we will put a check mark next to the sponsor right here this 
column is the brand. This is the source, so the agency that it's, I'm working with for that specific brand. A check mark will go here once it's received. The actual video title will be here. Any promo or discount codes here. The date that it was approved. The date it went live. The payment amount it should go right here. So these actually need to switch. Date I was paid goes here, and then the payment amount. Let's say that I got paid a hundred dollars. So if I put equals the sum amount of this and hit enter it will automatically add the um payments up so like let's say this one is 200 dollars. this will automatically go to 300 dollars. and then at the very very bottom this one here concludes all of the monthly totals that is how that works those are all of my drives my digital organization if you will my video planner and then my sponsored templates on my google drive <laughs> My 2020 theme is going to be create good. I wanna see that on the front of my computer every single day, and I wanna take that intention with me throughout the whole entire year. I think this year has definitely shaken up on terms of social media and i feel like i've been not connecting with the way social media and the platforms are going i feel like it's a lot of content that fries your brain it's very materialistic violent or dramatic and i feel like i've just not been connecting with it as much and i think it's because back in the day i would create content that i thought would be beneficial to the viewer with that i want to inspire people i used to have a theme i used to post every monday wednesday friday and every i think sunday was motivational monday was inspirational and then wednesday it was like fun entertainment i want the viewer to leave the video feeling good and i want them to feel like they got something whether that was a laugh relaxation inspiration for their day knowledge like i am just so done posting content of just mundane things and sponsorships and all of that combined i think being a little bit more picky with my sponsors and the content that i'm posting is definitely going to be what i want to focus on this year because i want to be the good and i want to like even though i won't get as many views or i feel like it's not as viral of videos i want my viewers to feel good when they leave my content and that just goes with everything in life so that is in correlation to my work but create good in the interactions and human interactions that I'm having on a day-to-day -day basis. For my body, making sure I'm eating healthy and creating good things for my body. Don't do things for, you know, physical looks, but rather health and wellness. Any sort of good for my community. Like, I just want that theme to be kind of touched in all parts of my life. I think that's a really good motto. And it like came to me the other day and I'm like, I just love that phrase to create good. I think in everything I do would be such a good, you know, year for me if I really take that with me throughout the whole entire year. I also want to talk about my resolutions and my quarterly goals. Resolutions for the year typically would not do like the little check marked kind of resolutions like where you can actually tick them off and it's more of like a theme but I really want to like check things off my goals this year. I actually just posted a new year's reading list last video. I like the idea and it, this has worked for me in the past is to read a fiction book every single month and read a nonfiction book every single month. And again, I'm theming them around the month, so it'll be fun for me. And I'm delegating certain tasks for work so I can open up space to actually read this year. Hopefully this year will be a little bit more calm than this year. I've had a lot of craziness go on and it's just been hard for me to read. So that's definitely something I want to focus on. I also want to create some sort of second income. And by that, I really think that it's gonna be in terms of real estate. And that's something that I've talked about. And I know it's gonna take a little bit longer than a year, if not, like the whole year. So just diving into that idea of investing in a property maybe would be a really good resolution for myself. Family volunteer goals. So I decided once I had a baby that I think it would be very important for every single year, every person in my family will do some sort of volunteer work for something that is important to them. For example, Xander's really into sustainability and the earth. So maybe we can find something to do with like picking up trash or some sort of sustainability awareness thing. Baby obviously was born really Really early and he is in the NICU so maybe do something with NICU families or you know March for Dimes and then something that speaks to me in my heart which would also be I feel like the NICU right now every year each person can pick something to you know make an impact in the community and I definitely want to see that every single year for every kid that I have in the future and for my family I really want to run a 5k I feel like I can do two this year keep on that I just ran for the first time since I became pregnant 
back in May and I haven't run since and it was actually really nice to feel like I can actually run still. Two 5Ks this year. I would really love to do the turkey trot and then maybe some, you know, 5K to start the new year or like have some sort of goal for the new year. In terms of my quarterly goals, so this is going to be for January, February, March. I want to try to get the 5K in the first quarter. I like to have some sort of challenge for the year, so I feel like that would be a good challenge. I want to post at least two videos every single week on my YouTube channel, so that would be Monday and Wednesday. I feel like I might be able to throw in some bonus videos here and there. What I've learned from this year is to take it day by day, don't overexert yourself, life can happen. So right now, Mondays, Wednesdays, occasionally every Sunday. And I want to save a certain amount of money, which I don't know the amount just yet, but I want to continue to save. I've been like spending a lot and I haven't been working, so it's like watching my money kind of depleting. But again, I've had a lot going on this year and I think it's time to start saving again to possibly invest money in certain areas of my life. That would be really cool as well. Now I wanna dive into reflection for the year. I I just went to church this past Sunday. The main lesson he was talking about was finishing strong. And that is such a good way to enter into a new season. I tend to kind of just be like, okay, like the season's done and I'm gonna like just half-ass it. And then I go into the next season half-assing it. It's like however you end a season is how you're gonna enter a new season. So I want to finish strong and I think reflecting on the goods and the bads and all that stuff from this year is really important in order to enter the new season with a fresh mindset and on the right track and in the right mindset. So I pulled up this like new year prompt for goal setting. This is like something I just Googled. I Googled new year reflection prompts. The first question is what area of your life do you feel needs the most focus? For me right now, it's my son. Um, he is still in the NICU. He is my main priority. He is currently feeding and hopefully we'll be able to get out by the new year, if not soon after. And that is just something that I really wanna focus on is becoming the best parent for myself and getting him out of the NICU and transitioning him slowly home and finding a routine that works all for all of us and his safety. Number two is what physical health goals do you have for yourself? Like I said, I wanna dive back into running. I want to start strength training and I wanna dive into yoga again. I know my body's not the same as it was pre-C-section, but I think slowly but surely, that's another thing I'm reading about. I'm reading The Atomic Habits and that book I just started reading and it was like, if you just do 1% better every day in every aspect of your life, you'll eventually get really, really good over time. Just like 1% every day. That's how I'm gonna dive into, uh, back into working out. It's just 1% better every day, not like diving full force and like getting injured or, you know, risk burnout or whatever. I really wanna focus on slow integration, which is what I did today and I feel really, really good. What mental health goals do you have for yourself? I need to practice mindfulness, something I have struggled with in the past is anxiety. And it has definitely gotten worse with the traumatic experience that I've had this year with the birth of my son. Postpartum anxiety is definitely a thing and it's something that I realized that I've had and which is, you know, common and I would say normal. So mental health goals and something that I've kept seeing kind of introduced to me or like told when discussing anxiety is mindfulness, Bible study, taking walks. That kind of just shuts my mind out and helps me flow a little better. And I've talked to a psychiatrist about everything that's been going on and she had mentioned mindfulness as well. So I think some sort of mindfulness activities would be really good for my mental health right now. In what ways can you improve in your relationships? Presence within my relationships. I feel like in all relationships right now, I've had a lot going on. So they've kind of been in the back burner. And when I'm in the moment, with certain people I'm not fully there so I think finding ways to be present with my relationships would be a really good start to that what good daily habits do you want to pick up this year like I said reading I would love to start yoga again which can also play into the mindfulness aspect eating better again I've had a lot going on so convenience has definitely been a thing and I haven't been eating the best I would love to like cook from home and save money and stuff like that those are pretty much the good habits that I want to start doing I actually wrote out my habits which I'm gonna film a little bit later I might film the first day of the year again I love those vlogs that I do I love starting the year with like daily habits that I can cross off my list. Daily non-negotiables that you will set for yourself. We've been doing prayers every night. So like we focus on five things, which is what are you grateful for? What can you improve on? Who you can pray for? What you're proud of yourself for that day? And anything that you want to ask for. That is something that ends the day so well. And I think that's a really good non-negotiables to do that every single day. The next one is my positive affirmation mantra for the next year, which is, I already explained this, create good in everything I do. The next one is how do you define success and in what ways will you have achieved success? I think success is so much more than monetary value. I've always lived by that. I think it's just being happy 
and creating whatever you're creating and like getting in flow. The financials are important and it's an aspect of success, but I don't think that's the main goal. And I think when I focus on what I like to do and making sure that I'm doing things that I am passionate about and that I feel they're making a difference, I can also get paid by that to find success. I had a professor back in the day talk about something that you should think about when you're working for finances. And there's like three main things. The first one is to make sure that you can get paid by it, make sure you're passionate about it, and make sure you're good at it. When all three of those things are together, success. And then the last one is to write out your ideal day and the life of one year from now in detail. I think that's a good journaling prompt. So let me think, I'm just gonna say this out loud. My fun days are very simple. It's like wake up, work out, work, family, dinner would be a really good one too, cooking at home, getting out maybe, and just socializing a little bit and then ending the night with a nice like p.m. routine would be ideal so yeah i hope you guys um enjoyed this vlog i will leave everything that i mentioned in the description box for you guys templates planners the questions here you can copy and paste your answers if you want to you know write a comment about your reflections for this year i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye guys